Hey everyone, I ordered a whole bunch of stuff from the Japanese Sailor Moon Pretty Guardians fan club and let's go ahead and unbox this box of things. <laughs> All of these items are from the last couple of years, so some of these are not going to be available anymore. However, there's a lot of really fun stuff in here, so I can't wait to show you everything. I purchase a lot of items through my Pretty Guardian fan club membership in Japan because Oftentimes, the Japanese fan club gets more access to items that are not available through the international version of the fan club. There are two different versions of the fan club, one for Japan, one for international, and I have done tutorials about those both on my channel. The tutorials I've done are a couple of years old at this point, but the information is still relevant, so you can absolutely check out those videos if you're curious to see what the differences are between the two. The first item I wanted to show you today is the special Q Posket special collaboration book, which features a very special little figure of Sailor Moon, her prototype version from the manga. She's so cute. So we've gotten a few special collaboration items, which usually feature just a little promotional book that lists all the products that have come out from that collaboration brand. And they usually come with some kind of special limited edition item. So in this case, we get the little cute posket. Is that it? Is there nothing else in here? The book is just this little piece on the front that shows you the collaboration items that they have come out with. So cute posket makes all these really, really cute little figures. I have a whole bunch of them. I've unboxed a few of them on the channel. I have a huge pile of the ones that have come out over the past couple of years that I have not even broken into yet. So you haven't even seen those on the channel yet. Here's the prototype edition of Sailor Moon. So you will notice that she looks a little bit different from the one from the anime. Uh, the only places that we have seen her are original art from Naoko Takeuchi. So she does look different. She has the white hair. She has the gold plating around her Odongo shields. She has a cape on. So a few little differences there. Oh, this book is so unique and cute. I'm definitely going to translate this and find out more about what they are explaining in here. Here we have a promotional art piece that talks about all of the cute poskets that are currently currently available. This says archive collection. That's interesting. You can still find these all over the place. I don't know why it says archive collection. Event reports, events that happened in Japan, and they are also advertising for the princess collection. I have most of these by now. I'm missing a couple of them, but I'm almost there. I'm almost done. Yeah, the rest of this box is empty. They really did ship this giant box with one teeny tiny little figure and a couple of pages of promotional information on the front. That's such a waste of space. <laughs> but if you do want to like check off all the cute poskets, here are all the different ones. There are variations of each one. So you have an A color vibrant version and a B color. This is the pastel version. I'm not even going to keep that book. I'm going to toss it. It's not worth the space. Here we have our very cute limited edition Q Posket. This is what she looks like. She's super, super cute. She's very small. She's smaller than the other Q Poskets, but she definitely has a lot of detail going into her hair and her cape. And you do have that really pretty metallic paint for all the gold accents on her outfit. She's really adorable. So if you're collecting Q Poskets, if you want something that is a prototype Sailor Moon, which I don't believe we have any other figures of prototype Sailor Moon, this is the only one, then this is definitely something to add to your collection. If you're a big manga fan like I am, then you would really appreciate this. I was so excited about this giant towel that I am never going to use. <laughs> this is fairly new art from Naoko Takeuchi. This was in honor of Sailor Moon's birthday. So Naoko created this brand new art of Usagi and Chibiusa since they share a birthday on June 30th. I love the rainbow in the background. It's very prideful. So if you support pride, you would love this towel. And then of course we have Chibiusa and Usagi enjoying a birthday cake down at the bottom. It says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon in honor of the fan club. So this is the logo for Sailor Moon down there. And this is just such a pretty towel. I feel like all the towels they've come out with through Pretty Guardian's fan club have all had really, really gorgeous art including this one. So if you see this on the top down, you'll see how beautiful all of the rainbows are in 
the candles. I didn't even realize the candles had rainbows. That's so cute. And then of course we have Usagi and Chibiusa and look at their eyes. Even their eyes are beautiful. This is very, very pretty. Like I would love to hang this up as a tapestry so that everybody can see it. It's just so pretty, so beautiful. I'm gonna have to fold this up so it doesn't get wrinkled. Okay, I actually have a couple of these. Where's my, oh, there it is. It's gigantic. Of course, you can't miss it. <laughs> uh, this thing is so cute. <laughs> Do y'all like Squishmallows? This kind of reminds me of a Squishmallow. The only reason I know those exist is because my niece loves them. So I bought her one for Christmas, but this thing is so comfy. I want to sleep on it, but I don't want to get my makeup on it. It's white. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so these bunnies are inspired by Usagi's bedspread. She has this really cute bedspread with all these bunnies all over it. And this is the white bunny from her bedspread. This thing is super poofy. <laughs> it took up a lot of space. I spent a lot of money shipping it here from Japan because it kind of weighs quite a bit because there's a lot of stuffing in there. But if you didn't want to buy the big one, this monster, <laughs> then there's a smaller version. This is the little baby one. <laughs> it's also super cute. Same fabric, same stuffing, but weighs a lot less. So now I have a big one and I have a little baby one that can sit right there. There we go. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of obsessed. I, I, I kind of love this thing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's so soft. This just brings me joy. I just wanna sit here and lay on it. The fun part of unboxing all this stuff is I don't remember what I ordered. So technically this mobile battery was only available in Japan. You could not ship this overseas because it is a lithium ion battery. However, I wanted it. It is USB-C, which a lot of the batteries that come out in Japan that are delegated to Sailor Moon, they have all been micro USB. So this one was USB-C. I really wanted the USB-C one. So I have a friend in Tokyo who was visiting the US last summer. I asked him if he could receive a shipment because I had placed an order through my Pretty Guardians fan club account, but they told me they couldn't ship it overseas, so they were going to throw it away. And I was like, that's a waste, plus that's not environmentally friendly. So he ended up receiving the shipment in Tokyo. He brought it with him in his carry-on to America. We met up in Vegas and he gave it to me. And I was just like, like amazing. I'm so happy that I have a friend over there that was willing to do that. Like he helped me out so much. <laughs> And I'm so happy about this battery. So yay, I finally have a USB-C battery and it's a 4,000 milliampere hour battery. So that's plenty for probably just one charge of your phone. It's not even enough for my S23 Ultra, which I think is like a 4,600 milliampere hour battery. I'm a techie. If you haven't seen my tech channel, I do tech reviews. So I know these things by heart but this would be good enough to top me off for a day. So I'm really, really happy that I have this finally. Yay. However, I wonder how fast this thing charges. USB-C. Oh wait, here we go. 4,000 milliampere hour battery. Oh yeah, this thing is really slow. 14.8 watt hour, 3.7 volts. Um, it also says five volts, one amp. So that's incredibly slow. <laughs> This thing is gonna be so slow to charge from. Oh well. <laughs> so all of these items here are actually from the Sailor Moon store in Japan. So the Sailor Moon store now has a online store. So if you have a Japanese address, you can order from the online store, uh, which is where I got these items. And I'm super excited about being able to wear these, especially for these unboxing videos. These are so cute. First, I have this 30th anniversary silver crystal. This is a little charm. So this charm is really pretty. It has a very iridescent crystal in the center of the silver crystal. Then we have a couple of charms on the outside here. This little heart says 30th anniversary on it and the back of it is pretty simplistic so you could stick this charm on like your keychain or wherever you want here we have just a couple of different bracelets based off of sailor moon's compacts very very pretty i like this one with all the different little crystals on it that's super pretty i wish i could get a crystal star one because i feel like that's my favorite compact i love them they're so pretty i also grabbed a couple of rings Here's the two rings that I was able to snag. These are both very pretty, very shiny and sparkly. And I got a necklace. I really like this necklace, it's so pretty. So this totally matches with the ring as well. Now, if you look at the compact really closely, you can see these little loose beads 
on the inside. So it's not going to open, but it does give you a little bit of bling on the interior of this necklace. That's so cute. And I believe that the ring, oh yeah, the ring also has some loose beading in there. That's so cool. What a neat little feature. Okay, so I was wondering if this one also has something on the inside of it, and this one has a little fake pearl. So there's a little pearl kind of hanging out inside of this compact. That's cool. I don't even know what this is. Let's find out. Oh, yay. Yay, it's Christmas in the Sailor Snubs collection room. This is an insulated tumbler. So if you wanna put cold or hot beverages in here, it'll keep them cold or hot. <laughs> and this features a really cool manga print of all of the inner Sailor Guardians on the front. The rest of it is relatively simple. That's neat. Oh, it's so pretty. I have been collecting a lot of the acrylic stands. However, with that said, I don't necessarily want to display them all. I feel like that would take a lot of time, but I do think I wanna store them in like a photo album so you can flip through them. I think that would be a lot more manageable when it comes to all these really cute acrylic stands. But acrylic stands are very popular in Japan. They don't take up a lot of space. They're very simplistic and they have lovely art. So a lot of people collect them. So here I have a series of Sailor Moon acrylic stands from the Sailor Moon store. These were blind bagged, but if you purchase the full set from the Sailor Moon fan club, or if you purchase X amount from the online store, you have a better chance of getting each and every single one. Sometimes I get duplicates, but it doesn't happen as often as if I was physically at the store and trying to grab them. So here I have, let's see, we have Moon, there's Sailor Mercury, and these are from the Eternal movie. There's Mars, Jupiter, Venus, and we have Tuxedo Mask, he looks great. Pegasus, oh, so pretty. And then we have Tiger's Eye, Hawkeye, and we have Fisheye. They look great. Oh my gosh. Zirconia, awesome. Here's Sailor Pluto. Sailor Saturn, she's tiny. Super Sailor Neptune. And then we have Sailor Uranus. Chibi Moon, also tiny. Helios, very cool. And then we also have these four, which I thought was amazing. Sarah Sarah, Vez Vez, of course, we have Pala Pala and Jun Jun. And then last but not least, of course, is Nehelenia. Ooh, she looks spooky. So those are all of your main characters from Sailor Moon Eternal Part 1 and Part 2. Or if you're watching the classic anime, those are all the characters from Sailor Moon Supers. And part of Sailor Moon Stars. Part of Sailor Moon Stars. Just like the very beginning. Okay, let's see what's in here. Ooh, I know what this is. <gasps> oh, wow. Yay! Y'all know that I really love uh, premium items, really beautiful items that can be on display as like heirlooms. So this is definitely one of those items. Also, uh, I love this brand because this is the brand that my mom got a lot of china of when she first got married. So she has a whole bunch of Noritake china that was from like 19, the 1980s. So I kind of love that I'm able to start my own Noritake collection and it's very much based around my aesthetic, which is Sailor Moon. So now I have, I think I have three of these now. I have three Noritake plates and all of them feature really beautiful art of the manga prints. So this one, of course, we have Luna and Sailor Moon. I think this is going to look amazing if I start a Luna shelf, which I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna put this in the back of the Luna shelf and then put my Luna figure right in front of it. That's gonna look so cool. This is really beautiful. On the back, it says 2021 Noritake Collection. So pretty. I hope they continue making these because I really, really like collecting them. Each year, the Pretty Guardian fan club usually does some kind of reprint of original stationary items from the 1990s, like this pretty letter set, which I believe there's a vintage version of this, but they did a reprint. The reprint looks great. We have a whole bunch of very cute, like summertime prints of the Sailor Guardians. And this is a letter set, so I could technically open this and use it for letters, but I think I'm gonna keep it in the packaging and store it away because I don't want to use them. They're just way too pretty to use. One of my friends went to Japan and she picked this up for me. I thought it was super cute. I believe this is a blind bag. 
let's see. Yeah, this is an Ichiban Kuji. So these were available in like 7-Elevens all over Japan. And you could get random prizes by purchasing a little like lottery ticket. So you purchase the ticket, you turn it into the cashier, and then you win a prize. Some prizes are more rare than others, but I really like these stands. This is a very cute stand and I feel like I could um, maybe collect all of them. Should I, should I not? I, I think I should. If there ever comes a day that I stop collecting bags, um, I want you to find out if I have been cloned and my clone took my place because I love these bags and I don't think I'll ever stop collecting them. This is a nice plastic bag. It is see-through and it features happy birthday print. I believe this is last year. This my, uh, is this from 2021? I wish they put the dates on these because I don't remember which year this is from. We're going to go with 2021 because I don't remember. This was a very cute little bonus item that you could get from the Pretty Guardian fan club. So this looks vintage, but it's actually a reprint of a Nakayoshi bonus item from the 1990s uh, that the Pretty Guardians now have access to. It's a little wrinkled because I think this traveled with my friend from Japan, but now I have it in my collection. Very cute. Sometimes you get these really cool printed materials through the Pretty Guardian fan club, including this. It looks like a newspaper uh, and this is promoing Sailor Moon Cosmos. So it says Pretty Guardian's newspaper up at the top. I wish they came out with more of these because this is the kind of newspaper that I could actually like see myself reading through using my Google Translate to find out what's going on in Japan. It's super cute. I just like having like cute promotional items like this. I think it's really awesome to have in my collection. So here we have information about Universal Studios. They've done a lot of collabs with Sailor Moon. I've never gotten to go to one, but they always look amazing. We have all these, these are giant plushies. They're huge if you've never seen them before, but we have some Sailor Moon plushies that came out. We have a bunch of Luna items that came out. I, I do have several of these. I don't have these three yet. I need to get those, but I do have quite a few of these cutie pies. They're so cute. These are also very useful. If you are looking to like finish up a collection or a line of items, you can go through here and kind of check off which ones you have. We have, oh, this is interesting. This shows us all of the reprints of the Sailor Moon manga. Here's the OG versions that were novelized. Then we have these ones that came out in 2003. I remember when those came out. The 2013 editions and then 2018. These, this is the very small Bunko version that I have previously reviewed on my channel. And I think this is the color edition that came out online available in 2020. You can see that the manga has been reprinted several, several times. These are all limited edition items that you could get by signing up with the Sailor Moon Guardian, uh, Pretty Guardian fan club. Is that the year it started? Wow, I've been with the fan club since it started. So we have 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Wow, that's really cool to see. And then on the back, we have an advertisement for the Sailor Moon Museum. Definitely wasn't as big as the exhibition from 2016, but the museum was still really cool to go to. Also, if you didn't see it, I did a whole walkthrough of the Sailor Moon Museum and I put it up and I tried to make it so it felt like you were there. And I, I loved walking through and being able to record it for everybody. So check out that video if you haven't seen it. I do have a few other smaller items in my box to show you before we're done for today. Here I have a whole bunch of really cute shrine charms for each of the Sailor Guardians. So here we have, and I like these because this is the old Sailor Moon Drops mobile video game uh, imagery. So we here we have Sailor Moon, here's Mercury, Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, Chibi Moon, Uranus, Venus, Pluto, and Neptune. Very cute. The Sailor Moon store has been coming out with these very cute little teeny tiny jewelry cases, and they actually look really pretty in person. So I have been snagging these. We have the Crystal Star Compact, and they also came out with the Cosmic Heart Compact. So I have that one somewhere in here in a separate box. Who knows? So here's the little case for the Crystal Star Compact. 
Oh, it separates, that's cool. So here we have the inside of the compact, that's pretty cool. And it does come off fully, but it has little notches so you know which way it's supposed to face. There we go. And on the top, it is glittery, but the glittery doesn't fall off. That's nice to see. It is clear coated, so it's not going to fall off and get everywhere. Uh, there's a bit of sticky residue on this from the tape that was holding it together, but it looks really cute. This is very, very pretty. A nice little piece. You could stick your weed in here, whatever you want. <laughs> I live in Colorado, that's pretty normal here. These are also some bonus items from the Sailor Moon fan club. So here we have, I believe this is a bookmark. It might be a sticker. Is this a sticker? Oh, it's a sticker. That's a huge sticker. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but that's a very large sticker. It's very cute. I think that's paper, so I'm probably not gonna use it. There's also a notepad on the front. We have some cute manga art of the inner guardians. Oh, look, there's chibis. They're so adorable. These are really cute. Oh, are they different on each page? Oh my gosh, they are. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, this is super cute. I don't even wanna use it. Ah, it's adorable. Okay, this is very cute. Really, really sweet piece to have in a collection. I do not know what's in this box. Oh, yes, I do know what's in this box, hello. Cool. This is a reprinted, remade acrylic clock from Nakayoshi. So this has a manga, manga chibi little heads of all of the Sailor Guardians, plus tuxedo mask and the cats. It does say Naoko Takeuchi at the bottom. And there is a place to stick batteries in the back. And there's also a couple of screw holes so that you can use it as a stand up clock and sit it on your desk. It looks like it takes double A's and you do have to wind it by hand. Aww, that's cute. That's a nice little display item. Just a random clear file that I picked up. I thought it was very pretty and I like the holographic print. And lastly, I have this other collaboration book, which is very similar to the Q Posket one, but this is for the Miracle Romance collaboration line. So on the front of this, we have another one of those teeny tiny little books that features a bunch of information about the Miracle Romance line. They make some really pretty makeup compacts and it looks like this book comes with a bonus little like makeup pouch. Oh good, they have a listing of all of the Crystal Star compacts that have come out. So these are all makeup compacts. Uh, I have not collected all of these. I think I only have one or two, but they are very, very pretty. However, they are very expensive for what they are. There's also some other items in here listed for the Miracle Romance line. They do a lot of makeup. These are nail oils. I have a couple of those. They're very, very nice. These are lip balms. These are glitter lips. Glitter lip, that's fun. Some other makeup items. I have several of these, however, not a lot. And then we have all of these cute little lip balms on the back. So here we have our Miracle Romance bag. There are two zippers on here, so two different sides of the pouch. Oh, that's pretty. That's a cute print. There's manga images of the Sailor Guardians. They look like princesses here on both sides. This is a satin material couple of different pockets for items. So you could store all of your Miracle Romance collection in this bag. And then we have space for any brushes and four more little pouches or little pockets for your items. That's really cute. So that is everything from this haul of Sailor Moon fan club items and a few items from the Sailor Moon store as well. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and don't forget to check out these videos if you're interested in more Sailor Moon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.